Huohuo has just been announced to be the first character that we will be getting in update 1.5. And even though we don't have any information about her, there is still quite a lot we can learn about her story and the Shienzo alliance. Let's start off with the elephant in the room. Her gigantic flaming blue tail. Huohuo is a Foxian, so it's not that weird for her to have a tail. But the reason why it's a flame is something else entirely. Her tail is on fire because there is a Heliobus sealed inside of it, which makes her name kinda funny, because it roughly translates to living or fire, which in turn kind of sounds like a will-o'-wisp, don't you think? Those of you who don't know, a Heliobus is a parasitic fire spirit that usually preys on sentient organisms like humans. I have gone more in depth in my video about Lan, but the TLDR is that they can take over the minds of those who they possess. The big band-aid on her tail are talismans that are used to ward off or seal spirits, so I think these talismans are the seals that keep the Heliobus safely sealed inside of her tail. Unfortunately for her, it seems that having a Heliobus sealed inside her tail also attracts other evil spirits, something that Huo Huo would rather not deal with. The small story bit that we received reveals that the Heliobus was sealed inside of the tail by the Ten Lords Commission, the same commission Zhui Yi is part of. The Ten Lords Commission is a very secretive organization tasked with sending the souls of the Marastruck to the Hall of Karma, a place at the bottom of the Xianzhou where the souls of the dead are kept. They can collect souls, decide on karmic consequences and bring souls from the Hall back to the living world for a short while. After the Heliobus was sealed inside of her tail, she was accepted, or forced, into the Ten Lords Commission as a judge in training. There is a judge within the commission with the ability to create sealing talismans out of thin air, and seeing that Huo Huo is a judge in training for the commission, it seems not too far-fetched that that person is Huo Huo's master. Maybe she is even being kept as sort of a lightning rod for the Ten Lords Commission to capture evil spirits. Whatever the case, it seems like Huo Huo is not getting out of her predicament anytime soon. Let me know about what you expect from Huo Huo's lore in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, bye!